Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is in ScreenFlow 9. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a freeze frame, which is something I do in nearly every video. A freeze frame is just a still image that you can create from any clip on your ScreenFlow timeline. In this example, I have a voiceover audio track on the top, and I have a video track on the bottom. But as you can see, the audio track is longer than the video track. So I want to fill in the space. To add a freeze frame image, all you have to do is drag the scrubber to any part of your video that you want to create a freeze frame. Select the video clip and right click or control click and select add freeze frame. There's also a keyboard shortcut shift command F. You can also come up to the edit menu and select add freeze frame. But I prefer right clicking or control clicking right on the clip and selecting add freeze frame. Once I select this, ScreenFlow is gonna split the clip and add a two second freeze frame. In this case, I do not need the end of the original video clip. So I'm just gonna select it and delete it and just keep the freeze frame. You'll see in the title, it says freeze frame. And because this is a still image, I can drag out the freeze frame for as long as I need. But I'm just gonna drag it to the end of the audio clip. So now I have my video and I have the freeze frame to fill in that empty space until the end of the voiceover. Here is one more example of when I would add a freeze frame. So I have a screen recording in Adobe Audition. I'm showing off this menu item and I wanna pause longer on this menu. To add a freeze frame in ScreenFlow 9, all you have to do is drag the scrubber to any part of your video where you want to pause and create a freeze frame still image. I'm gonna select the clip on the timeline. I'm gonna right click or control click and select add freeze frame. As soon as I click on add freeze frame, ScreenFlow is gonna split this clip right at the scrubber and insert a two second freeze frame image. So I'm gonna right click or control click and select add freeze frame. After adding the freeze frame, you may need to rearrange or delete some clips. So in this case, I'll just delete this end clip and I'm just gonna drag out the freeze frame image so I can talk about this part of the menu a little bit longer and then go right back into my video. So by default, whenever you add a freeze frame, ScreenFlow is gonna insert a two second freeze frame clip. If you ever wanna change that default duration, just come up to the ScreenFlow menu, go to Preferences, click on Timeline, come down here until you see Freeze Frame. You can just click on that and change the amount. But I wanna keep it at two seconds, which is the default. My name is Mike Murphy, and that is how you add a freeze frame in ScreenFlow 9. Cheers.